Hi everyone, myself Parikh Prasad SK. Recently I completed my BSc Agriculture from US Tharwad and gave the JRF exam for plant science subject. Now I got the seat in IRA New Delhi in CTEC department. So some of my juniors asked me about my preparation and the books I referred. So I decided to make a video so that it will help the people who are willing to take the JRF exam in coming future. About myself, I did not do well in my academics, so my CGPA was 7.2. But I was interested in the plant science subject, so I started my preparation for the exam from the starting of the fourth year. So now I will share the important things which need to be covered and the books I referred for the exam. Let's uh, go by one by one. All the subjects comes under the plant science syllabus. Genetics and plant breeding, plant pathology, microbiology, sea technology, crop physiology, economic botany, biochemistry, statistics and general agriculture and current affairs. About starting four subjects, everyone will be aware of it and everyone will read it. Coming to the minor subjects, so most of the people will neglect it but even though there is a less weightage for the minor subjects, every year few questions will come from this. So you need to focus on the minor subjects too. Now I will tell you about each and every subject in detail. Now coming to the first subject that is genetics and plant breeding. For genetics, fundamentals of genetics is very important book. You need, it, you need to read it very carefully. It's a bible for students. And there are few chapters to skip from this book. And apart from those chapters, each and every chapter must be read very carefully and thoroughly. There are so many concepts that comes in these books. Each and every concept must be very read very carefully and clearly and for genetics a BDC book is enough and you read it at least four to five times so that you, you may, so that you don't confuse with any of the concepts that comes in the, this book next about plant breeding plant breeding by BDC is very good book it covers about 700 to 800 pages so you if you are interested in plant breeding so want to know more and more about breeding then uh, read the plant breeding by BDC book and uh, along with it, it's, it is good if you read the Pundan Singh book also because there are some few chapters which, uh, which are covered in the Pundan Singh is not covered in the BD Singh. So if you read the, both the books, it's uh, good for reading. Otherwise, if you have shortage of time, you choose any one of the book. But I suggest you to read the BD Singh book first because every year the rare questions will be asked from the BD Singh book only. After reading the both genetics and plant breeding, then go for the class notes, angle notes and manuals. It will be kind of a revision for you. If anything left in from both the books, you can read it from here. It's enough for the genetics and plant breeding. Now coming to the objectives books. Objective book by the BK Prasad and BD Singhs are there for both genetics and the plant breeding. But I suggest you to take the objectives at the last after completing the each and every subject clearly and very carefully and thoroughly. Coming to the objectives. Solving objectives may not help you much as the trend is changing. The questions from the objectives books are very rare, rare now. So if you read, if you go through this one, so you will get to know about the pattern of the questions and the type of the applied questions that can be asked from this subject. So I suggest you to read first, read all the syllabus first and complete the uh, revision to twice or thrice and then go for the go for solving the objectives. It will be helpful for you. And these things are enough from the genetics and plant breeding. Now the second subject is the plant pathology. The plant, in plant pathology, first course is history and the classification of the pathogens. For this, the H.C. Dubey book is very good. You need to read this book. Reading the H.C. Dubey book once will not help you as there is a lot of confusion in the classification of the pathogens. You need to read it twice or thrice. And uh, along with that, you need to get some data from other, other sources also to get the clear clarification about the classification of the pathogens. So I suggest you to collect the data and read this book twice or thrice to get a clear understanding about the pathogens and their uh, characteristics. Now the second course that is IDM, Integrated Disease Management. For this only the class notes or any other PDF notes, any other sources, it's enough. There is nothing much to read from the, for this topic. Next that is third course, that, the third and fourth course that is diseases of agriculture and horticulture crops. Like you can't read only any one of the notes, you need to read uh, read each and every notes that is available for you and collect all the diseases and the make the list and revise it regularly so that uh, you will be able to remember if, they, if it is asked in the exams. About Important about these uh, diseases are about uh, the common name, scientific name and their uh, symptoms, important symptoms and uh, primary and secondary source of inoculum and uh, about the management practices. These are important from for this third and fourth course. At last about the objectives. For objectives, Bhattacharya book is very good. While solving this book, you may notice that the, most of the questions from the, these books you have not read before in any of the courses. So I said, but it is, as it is complicated, it's all, it is also important. So you first complete the, all the four courses and then go for the objectives. While uh, solving the objectives, you re revise it regularly so that you will be able to remember it. And there is a book called GN Agrivers for the plant pathology. 
if you are interested in plant pathology and want to read it if you have extra time then you can read it it will any you help in the help you in the exams you will, will gain some extra knowledge from it but uh, it's not actually compulsory to read this book for plant pathology these things are enough go through the all the courses so twice or thrice and uh, revise it well so that we'll get the clear idea about each and every topic that comes in the plant pathology as the plant pathology is very important for the plant science most of the in the exams uh, most of the questions may come from the plant pathology part only so read it very carefully now for microbiology taro and kapoor is a very good book reading the taro and kapoor whole book will help you to get the complete knowledge about the microbiology but if you have short shortage of time then go for first four chapters and last five chapters it's enough for the exams any who reading the complete book will give you a good knowledge about the microbiology at last about the c technology for c technology no other book is necessary because you can easily predict the questions type of questions that may be asked in the exams seeing the pre previous years papers so i suggest you to read the class notes tn notes and the manuals it's enough for the c technology and about the objectives book ranganayake is very important in c technology solving the objectives is very important because most of the aspects you can you can get in the class notes or tn notes in the Rang ranganayake it will be all all will be covered in the ranganayake so go through the ranganayake book twice or thrice so we will get the uh, all the knowledge about the c technology from the objectives book only after completion of the all the major subjects go with the minor subjects in minor subjects first of all first is crop physiology in crop physiology no need to read everything in the that comes in the crop physiology important things like respiration photosynthesis nitrogen sulfur and phosphorus and other cycles like atp synthesis in respiration and photosynthesis you need to know about all the processes that takes place in during the respiration and photosynthesis and about transpiration evaporation and the other process process that takes place in the plants these are the important things you need to read about the crop physiology next about economic botany from economic botany anatomy and morphology of flowering plants is very important you may have read this in pu only but revising it once again will help you in the exams in the anatomy and morphology is very important you need to read everything about the anatomy and morphology of flowering plants and their examples like different modification of roots stems and other things and then the uses economic uses of plant parts and different trees and other things are important from this topic next about biochemistry in biochemistry biomolecules is very important like uh, carbohydrates vitamins proteins like uh, different types and their classification their examples are very important in vitamins like from vitamin a to e uh, their uh, com different compounds they are the important from this topic after completing all the major and the minor subjects that comes in, in the plant science syllabus then next general agriculture about general agriculture if you are not confident about different subjects that comes in your ug syllabus and uh, didn't read well in your during your ug then go through the arun katha and volume 1 and 2 first read it very thoroughly and very slowly name rasunda actually in the name rasunda you can't predict the questions so which may come which may not come you need to read everything which comes in the name rasunda book you need to revise it regularly so that you can remember it well rk sharma about rk sharma it's not necessary if you have extra time and if you need you can read it and about objectives by sir kanpa it is a very good book if you complete each and every subject and all the my major and the minor subjects and their objectives and other things after that you can go for the objectives sir kanpa and you can solve all the subjects if you need and if you don't have enough time then go for the plants and subjects solve them, solve them and uh, uh, remember them very carefully that's enough from the general agriculture after completing all the major and minor subjects and general agriculture part go through the current affairs by fisher publication it will be updated every year so the take the recent ones and read it reading all the topics in this book it not necessary only read the important things like recently released varieties and important institutions their locations and important government schemes and their dates these are enough from the current affairs remember the pattern will be changing year by year because we got the probability questions this year so try out the new things and uh, read the new things within the syllabus it will be helpful for you in the exams and as this is my first try if this video is helping you share it with your friends thank you remember the pattern will be changing year by year because we got the probability questions this year so try out the new things and uh, read the new things within the syllabus it will be helpful for you in the exams and as this is my first try if this video is helping you share it with your friends thank you